Hey there, welcome from Spain. I'm back again. Just thought I'd throw together another uh, small video, but this time I'll show you what uh, figures I've painted. Well, I'll start with the original six figures. Uh, I'll do another video for the ones I've started painting for the unlock classes. So, uh, if you watch my other video, thanks for watching that. I know it's not the best quality, and I'll see if I can make this one a little bit better with encoding and, and whatever, whatever tricks you can do. Okay, let's start with Spellweaver. So there she is. Uh, I'm not a professional painter. Um, oh Jesus, look at <laughs> the eyes look a little bit weird when you see it close up like this. But you know, I'm quite happy with it. It's, I use Vallejo paints most of the time. Um, well, all the time is what I seem to be able to get here in Spain. I think there's a few places to do games workshop, but I seem happy enough with Vallejo to be honest. Bit of shading there on the back. It's um, these things never look well. Mine never look that good close up, but from a distance at the table when you're playing, then you know it looks okay. I've just painted the base a little bit blue. I don't know why I did it like watery style. I have no idea, but you know that's what I've done and that's what I've got. Okay, we've got the the, uh, the brute. Quite pleased with this one actually. It came out quite well. The the detail and the the gold and the little jewels on his chest there seem okay, the skulls. But we could have done the yellow in the skulls a little bit more. Um, they look a little bit white. But uh, overall, I, I'm pretty happy with it. The cloak comes out pretty nice. Um, I don't buy flocking. But what I've done there is just got some, believe it or not, got some rosemary uh, and just grabbed it up and stuck it to the base and then just, uh, just sealed it. Uh, in hindsight, I probably should buy some flocking. It's not uh, it's not super expensive, but I didn't have it at the time, so I, I did that. So there you go. There's the brute. Let's go to scoundrel. There we go. Get some focus there. Okay, that face is terrible. I really need to touch that face up. Um, for some reason, it looks like she's got a black eye and a scar. But anyway. I will have a look at that later. This, it's, it, this is not the best one in the world, I admit. But again, on the table, you know, they look okay. It was, I have to say, it's not my favourite figure I painted, but it will do. But there you go. Yeah, that face is a face only a mother could love. Cragheart. This one, for some reason, I was going to paint like the the artwork um, with like a really gold, yellowy armor, and, and for some reason I completely forgot and did it like this. But um, in hindsight, I think probably the yellow may have been a little bit too harsh. The maybe would have been a bit too much of a contrast with the skin. Get a bit. I don't really know what to do with the chest there. Probably could have put something in the middle, but just like a big hole and. Well, you know, I think this was like the first one I painted. Oh, there you go. Same old trick with the rosemary there. Can't go wrong with rosemary. Okay, these figures I think are a little bit harder. I mean, they're so small. I mean, this is the, the Mind Thief, which you know, that looks pretty good, actually. I'm surprised at that. Flipping it. Whoa. Shade. I mean, like the shading looks super harsh when you've got close up like that, but when it's... Yeah, on the table. I mean, you really have to uh, exaggerate, I think, the things, the, the shade of stuff to give it a good look. I mean, if you're going to go for, I don't know, uh, exhibition quality, then of course, yeah, you're going to do lots of shading and wet shading, but I can't do that. I just do what I know, and that's it. And the last of the, the, the uh, initial six is the Tinker. Uh, there you go. Quite happy with his backpack there. The shaving looks pretty cool, I think. Probably could have done a little bit better on his hair. But, like I say, at the end of the day, all that matters really is that it looks okay when the, when it's being played. And, you know, you look at it from you know, a good foot or so away. Nobody, you're not going to be staring at it like six inches from your face all the time. And finally, the last little thing I've finished today is I made a bit of a, a bit too much blood on here. I made an altar. 
Um, again, it's my favourite cardstock. I scribed in the uh, the bricks or the stonework. I bought a little. Uh, as you saw, I, if you looked at my other video, I've got these little um, things that you can make bracelets with. So I put one of them in with a, a little gem inside. So it looks like blood inside there. Uh, I used the little gems for the side here, but then painted them gold, just as I don't know what they're supposed to be. Um, I think I overdid it with the blood. Well, to be honest, I mean, it, looks, it looks okay, doesn't it? I mean, we're talking, we're not, you know, if you wanted to buy this, uh, these things, are, I don't know, they look a lot, a lot better if you buy the resin ones, but I mean, I, they're expensive, aren't they, I think? I mean, that cost me nothing, basically. I mean, this, this, this thing here cost me 50 cents for, for like, 10 of those and the rest is just cardstock. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see what I can do about encoding the, the rest of this properly and, and getting it up today. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.